Hello and welcome. I am so excited to be sitting here today with Whitney and Justin McKenzie, local business owners and savvy entrepreneurs. So um, they are here today. Uh, I am pleased to welcome you. This is a very significant uh, accomplishment now in your new careers. So thank you so much welcome. for having us. Yes, thank you. yes. So um, let's talk about one of the oldest glass repair companies in the community. Yes, glass installation. Centers. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, glass installation. Okay, so when we think of broken windshields, what do we think of? I. All-Star Auto Glass. <laughs> of course, All-Star Auto Glass. Okay, so formerly owned, of course, by the Trumbulls, a very respected, uh, a very respected couple. Um, so, talk to me then about how this collaboration, how this this came about. This is very exciting. Would you like to take it? Sure. <laughs> yeah. um, John, John, and I had connected over classic cars. Okay. And uh, formed a relationship over the years, and. Uh, I periodically would stop in and just visit him and Debbie at the shop to see sure. how things were and touch base. And um, it's not every day that I need a windshield, so <laughs> just to uh, to stop in and see how things were going. And um, it just came up that um, you know how how busy they were, and uh, you know Debbie was interested in retiring, and John wanted to stay and work for a little bit. <laughs> so. Um, I just asked the question if we could open the conversation, perhaps that Whitney and I uh, would maybe have the opportunity to speak with them regarding purchasing the business and what that might look like. Okay. And um, we sat down and, and talked uh, in length over some time and uh, we were able to put a deal together that was good and fair for everybody. And, Fantastic. Um, and here we are, uh, 60 okay. days in. and. Um, <laughs> Yeah. That's exciting. We, That's so exciting. We feel very, very honored to have the opportunity and um, for John and Debbie to uh, to feel that we were uh, the right people to for sure. to take over um, their what they have built and and be caretakers of it for the next. Well, hopefully 31 years. <laughs> well, yeah, like, I mean, as long as it's been in operation, I mean, you're almost handing over a legacy, really, right? That's exactly what it is. Um, you know, you have generations at this point of, of customer base. Uh, you know, my my dad did came here, My you know, I'm coming here now. So uh, certainly a, a significant torch, as it were, to pick up and run with. So um, congratulations, absolutely. Now, um, so in terms of, so you're 60 days in, um, dust is settling. Um, what can people expect now and what may be on the horizon in the future? Right now we're investing in bringing technology into the business and okay. making sure that we are at the, the forefront of the business in Sault Ste. Marie. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, it's just been a great couple of months okay. and we just want to grow grow the business as you know as much as we possibly can and everyone can expect much of the same Good. that they experienced with John and Debbie as well that same um, customer first focus and community first focus with the business as well with um, with the I guess the best experience possible for you okay and and certainly Whitney I am a I am a consumer of your your <laughs> exceptional client experience at Azure so um, yes, uh, so you know, so staying the course in this moment, continuing to provide exceptional service to the client base. Um, now, um, so with the addition of technology, of course, that opens up, you know, some some new areas, perhaps some expansion. I am not tipping their hand, <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I guess you know, like for me, a question becomes um, so. In your in your background, like your 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 previous career, you said you are a machinist millwright, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so help me understand where you come from. You know this very industrial sort of you know um, um, regulated kind of career into entrepreneurship, and you know auto glass. So talk to me. Um, just a big step, I guess. Uh, cars have always been my passion. I grew, I, I grew up, uh, you know, always interested in cars. Uh, when other people were out, you know, playing sports, and I was could always be found in the garage, uh, working with my dad, okay. you know, on on cars of every make and model. 
Um, and I mean, the transition between a millwright machinist and into the glass installation, uh, being a machinist, we're very uh, detail oriented and yes. very picky and we work to a thousandth of an inch. Okay. You know, um, a lot of the care and caution I see now in the industry um, now that windshields are a structural component of a vehicle, right. right? They have to be placed and installed um, with the utmost care because it is, again, a structural component right. uh, of a vehicle. So with having John being in the industry for 35 years, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It makes him a fabulous instructor because, you know, not only do I have the opportunity to learn uh the how to set glass on all older vehicles you know all the tick tricks and tips that he has developed over the years are being yeah. handed down and we also have a, a second te technician ja uh, chad chad mm -hmm. uh, they're working with us okay. that um is just a world of knowledge and um you know shows up ready and willing to go there's not a task in the shop that we can't turn him loose on as well. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we're very blessed with the staff and the team that we have there. That's uh, amazing. It's, it's just, um, it's, it's really humbling actually to be able to work with the caliber of guys that we have there um, just because the, the wealth of knowledge, you know, uh, I kind of went a little off topic, but you know, it's all relatable because I'm such a detailed oriented person yeah. and being able to work with like minded people, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, to to provide, you know, the utmost care right. and service. Yeah, in, no, in I what don't we do. Like, I don't think you went off topic. Like, I think, you know, to, to, to come down to the, the precision and, and the detail that is involved, you know, and for somebody like myself who, you know, you say, you know, machinist millwright and you're like, mm -hmm. But no, like you did a good job of like encapsulating in a nutshell that it is about precision and it is about safety and standards, right? Absolutely. And I, I think you hit, a, you make a great point when you talk about, you know, the experience that, that John Trumbull brings to the table, given that he's been on the forefront of the industry through every evolution, right? So fantastic. What an opportunity. Oh, it's, there's no better. There's I'm absolutely so no better. <laughs> this is going to be such a great, and what I love is that you're taking a business that is part of the community and not only keeping it in the community, but as you had said earlier, investing in that business to ensure that it will be sustainable and move forward into the future. So fantastic. Well, Whitney and Justin, fantastic. I'm so excited for you. I want to say congratulations most sincerely. Um, those who watch my, my interviews know that there will be a lovely uh, article summary with you know hyperlinks that go to websites and Facebook pages and all of that. Um, but failing anything else, if you have a need for auto glass anything, you know where to go, where you can continue to go as you have done for so many years now. So thank you so much for making time today. And uh, I look forward to hearing about the grand opening if there is to be one. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So. <laughs> thank you so much for having us. We yes. appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Heidi. And, and I'd like to take a minute just to thank all the loyal customers. Uh, without you guys, uh, you know, John and Debbie uh, wouldn't have been able to build a business that they have for us to to be a part of and to work in for the next foreseeable future, the 31 years. Hopefully we can hit that 62-year mark, <laughs> then, uh, if you will. So uh, without the loyal customers... Uh, this wouldn't be possible for us. So I just want to thank everybody from both Whitney and I for, for the opportunity to, to hopefully work with everybody in the future. Oh, well said. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next segment.